refining stick and rudder skills in a beautiful yet quirky old airplane. All right, yeah, buddy. Now you got it. Yeah, I'm getting it. I think, That's I think beautiful. This, this airplane and I are going to be friends. Yeah, that was good. I'm happy. Well, don't give me too much praise. It might have been flukes. We're back in Windsor, where I'm mid-flight with Czech pilot Dave, continuing my DHC-1 chipmunk training. In the previous episode, we did upper air work including stalls, and I proved I could handle a force approach. But now I need to learn how to land this thing. We're going to be looking today to at least cover three-point uh, stop-and-go landings. It's been challenging and rewarding learning to fly warbirds, working toward the goal to honor my grandfather's memory who flew Spitfires. My objective here is to impress Dave, so he recommends me to fly with Ron Holden, the chief pilot, and ultimately get signed off so I can solo the chipmunk and join the ranks of the CH-2A Yellowbird pilots. Thanks, Ron. Master's on. You're all set. You Just check to make sure your ground. passengers are secure. And yeah, we are secure. I came into this with a couple seasons of tailwheel flying under my belt, all of which has been shared on the channel, so definitely check that out if you haven't seen it. But I felt the stakes were a little higher on this one. This airplane is literally a relic, and I was feeling the pressure because I wanted to perform well on my upcoming flight with Ron. We're going to set up an approach, standard circuit pattern, 75 miles an hour is what you're looking for, and we'll probably start off with two notches of flaps, which is all the flaps 30 degrees, and just try to hammer out some nice three-point landings. So our downwind checks are complete. And we're a little bit low. Yeah, we're okay though, that's fine. Just get the power. airplane stable. Nice. Bone of mic tower number one. Number one, prop of ever mic. You're crowding a little on the, your, your heading's a little bit too, too, too far right. Yep, you got it. So do I want to get flaps out on base? Or? Yeah, we'll, we'll get the power down to about 1400 right now. Before we turn base, yeah? Yeah, the flap speed is 85 miles an hour, okay? I don't good. want you to overspeed the flap. There's a lot of juggling going on in this cockpit, but the hardest part is managing the brakes, which is the handle below the throttle on the left. But that's covered in a previous episode. Maintain 75 miles an hour. You're good, you're not overspeeding the flaps. I don't hate you yet. Yeah, we got a nice approach. We're, we're looking good. So once you've got it looking good, you're feeling happy, I'm not going to overshoot this landing. I mean, there's always the option to overshoot after you've touched down, for sure. But if you are happy with the landing, you always know where that throttle handle is. What you are not familiar with right now is where that brake handle is. So as you've rolled the power off to idle to touch down, just be cognizant, you know, that's the brake handle. The chipmunk has unique ground handling characteristics. There are not brakes related to the pedals. All the braking is done with this handle down here. And with an ineffective rudder below 40 knots or 1300 RPM of prop blast, maintaining directional control during takeoff and landing rolls can be interesting. So you like this profile? I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's good. A bit of a left crosswind? Just a hint of it, yeah. Okay, you can throw your flaps in. Quick power, uh, golf, November Charlie Mike, uh, holding short, uh, on Fox Air for 1 2. Oh, right. November Charlie Mike, you're on there Alpha you go. 2. Okay, now you just, just land the airplane. Right. Uh, 75 is your goal. Go. Yeah. On the center line. And we're going to go to a stop, so don't try to do anything crazy, just land. I'm still on the throttle, but I'm getting ready to think about getting down to the brakes. Would you agree? I mean, I guess I need to know if I need power or not, but I'm, i got to get to that displaced threshold, so I'm adding power. No, you're okay. You can land here. Okay. Power to idle. Idle, and I'm down on the brakes. Okay. Just, find just, it. just keep it going. You keep it. You almost got it perfect. Wow. Oh, that was f***ing greasy. Okay. Now come to a stop with the brakes very gently. Gently. That was beautiful. Couldn't have done that better. Almost got it perfect. You got a little tailwheel shimmy. So what okay. do I do? Forward? No, no, just just stop. Just okay. stop the so airplane. I'm gently braking, gently braking. Yeah, you can get a little right. harder on the brakes. The only time I've ever had to use brake with the wheel up is in like severe crosswind scenarios where it really wants to veer in the wind. And the more brake, the more stick back. Right? If you if you want to brake harder, make sure you're holding the tail down. If you ever feel like the tail's getting light, you need to re the, the, release the brake. Right? Yeah. Never press the button because that's the, the parking brake, right? Let's retract the flaps since we're in a stop and go. The one not all the way. All the way. Okay. 1300 RPM? Yep. All right, release the brake. And now commit to the takeoff. And I'm not going to screw it up like I did last time. X-ray tank is the tower, clear to land runway 1 2. Clear to land 1 2, X-ray tank is Bring that nose forward. There we go. Oh, this is going to be perfect. All right, yeah, buddy. Now you got it. Yeah, I'm getting it. I think, That's I think beautiful. This, this airplane and I are going to be friends. You like that landing? I like that landing, especially because I was trying to get my hand down to the. You, you actually landed momentarily before the three point, but you you just did everything right. 
you just let it finish landing. A lot of people are like, well, shit. It's like, don't worry about it. Just continue the landing. There was nothing wrong with it. Yeah, that was good. I'm happy. Well, don't give me too much praise. It might have been fluke. Beginner's luck or not, I need to be consistent in order to move up to my sign-off flight with Ron. I just want to see repetitive performance consistent. in the same spot every time. What I'm trying to do is get ahead of the airplane so I can get as much out of the way, but let's, yeah, you're right. So Ron's going to want to see consistency. Yeah, it, this thing isn't going 200 knots. I think you got a nice approach here if you just keep I'm this going. About, yeah, I'm about to get my flap set without being all ready five. There we go. Oh, uh, yes. Very good. I wanted to get that smoother, though. I'm, the problem is you've got to fly with your left hand for a second while you do that, right? You better get used to being ambidextrous. When you go to do something in the cockpit, you, you tend to change pitch quite a bit. So if you're grabbing the flaps, you might pitch up or down. It seems, you know, you're just not... You know why? Because I have to switch hands for everything I do. <laughs> Here comes full flaps. You, you need to learn to be able to fly with the left hand on the stick or the right hand on the stick and make that a fluid transition yeah. to use both hands in that cockpit because it's a very busy cockpit from a lever's perspective. And it's still on throttle. Adding pitch of power because I don't want to level out yet. Yeah, you're going a little slow. For sure, I know initially, every time I would switch hands, it was like a mess for like... And that's what we do the stop and goes for a lot of the time, is just to get you familiar with how to manipulate the brake and the flap lever all in a quick succession. So you're, you're building a mental memory of where everything is. Like you said, I had to look down for the brake and then... Then it was over. Yeah, so I had to add power. I got low there. Okay, let's, let's so, land. Well, I'm pulling power back once I get threshold. You're high. You're really high. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, I was kind of watching that like, nope, I'm going to let him have that. Yeah, I appreciate it. What I don't want to see too much is the use of geometry to, to kind of save yourself. Like, I don't want you turning away from the runway to try and do all this, this crap. I know a lot of people like to use S-turns for stuff like that, but you have two notches of flaps and you have a slip. Yeah. We're not stuffing this thing into a parking lot. Like, this is a 9,000 foot runway for the long one and a 5,000 foot runway. So you, you don't want to be short but use, use the airplane's tools to keep you on profile. With two landings down and a literal half-decent record, I know I need to step up, but it's hard not to overthink it. But this is definitely seat-of-the-pants flying, and I need to just let myself feel it. Okay, we are stable for our speed of 85, one notch. There's a lot going on in this cockpit, but it's all you and it's all manual, and there's not even a stall warning horn. You gotta feel it. What I love about this airplane is I'm not really looking at instruments much. I'm glancing at the airspeed so I don't rip the flaps off, but I'm flying the pitch and doing what I want to do. Yeah, you got it. No, you're, you're flying it well, honestly. I... Back with you, Bob of Power Near number two, falling a chip mic, turning short, falling like thing. Please help us make more content like this by visiting flightshops.com and participating in the contest. Got full flaps. I okay, got it's him. locked. I have that traffic quick. Let's keep up. Backless, you pop around. They're on a stop and go. Very happy with the approach. Perfect. A little bit not lined up, but uh, my profile's okay. I'm coming in a tiny bit steeper than last time because I don't want to stretch it. Actually, the crosswind switched now. It's slightly from the right. Yeah, it's, it's like light variable right now. Yeah, so we're all good. A little slow, nose down. Yeah, so I mean, that's the power. Yep. I'll try to get it stabilized again before I try to round out. Now we're back to good ones now. There we go. You figured out the break. I uh, got I'm being more aggressive with it now. I'm being confident. Uh, I, I like it. it. I no, I felt the correction with the break on that one. That yeah. was very, made me feel happy. I'll tell you a little trick of the stick. Yeah? So okay. if you bring your arm in front of it, I'll just got the power for Which it. arm? The right arm in front when you go to grab the throttle. Oh, you can lock the stick back with your arm. Yeah, okay. Here we go. So 1300. Flaps. Yeah, okay. There's 1300. Now I can get rid of brakes and I can fly an airplane with my feet, right? Back we keep off the tower wind 110 at 3 quick land runway 12. That was less shitty. It wasn't bad, honestly, like that. You're getting there. You do have a tendency to like list right slowly, but it's really not bad. A lot of birds out today. 
I hope you haven't been seeing them too much. I've been trying not to point them out because it's really kind of pointless, right? What? Like if you check your left right now. I see him. Yeah. He's flying in formation with us, that <laughs> guy. Yeah. A big seagull. Yeah, you can't avoid him. So you just you just go and if you hit him, you hit him. Cause I'm like flooring the left rudder. If I let go of it, this is what happens. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, feels good. Still another the tank. Max rod master's on. You skier, I'm skier. Yep. We're gonna do a full stop this time or we're gonna do another stop go? You can ask for the option if you want. Okay. And Windsor Tower, Bravo, November Mike is on the left. Downward, runway 1-2, looking for the option. Bravo, November Mike, car, clear for the option, runway 1-2. Clear for the option, 1-2, Bravo, November Mike. Okay, so I got my clearance, don't need to talk anymore. A little bit low on the power, get back at the 14, there it is. I think now if I pull the flaps and drop it down, it's going to be more of a... A reasonable approach angle? Yeah. Well, it's a little steeper than hills. Natural, but I think this is probably what it wants. It's very much so. I would be right on this path. This is yeah. Cause now I can hold 75, and I don't feel like I'm. You're still gonna end up short. Really, eh? Yeah. Okay. See it happening? I see it happening now. You're right. But whatever. We're just gonna land. I'm not gonna worry about any power. I know I'm gonna land on concrete. You're getting slow, so. Yeah, that's gonna try to stretch it. So we're not gonna stretch it. We're gonna land on concrete. And is switching. Uh, Very good. Firmer, firmer, but... No, I was okay. It was a tail first. Oh, you're going to make alpha. <laughs> That's only for the pros. I'll take it. I freaking love this airplane, man. I told you, it's great. Well, I think you're good to go for Ron now. I wasn't uncomfortable at any point in the flight. Not drastically uncomfortable. There were a couple of uh, little uh, jerky movements on the runway. Some of it related to power, some of it related to not looking where you're going. Your stick inputs were good, which is really what I want to see. I want to see aileron in the wind. You had the aileron in the wind. He never really overdid it. Uh, I think it was a great flight. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm comfortable enough to say the airplane doesn't completely intimidate me like when I first got in. I don't feel like it's a Super Cub yet, yeah. but I feel like I get it. Congratulations. Thanks. And uh, I recommend you for, for Ron's flight. That's an honor. Very cool. It was quite a strong crosswind the following morning, so I did a warm-up flight with Dave before my check ride with Ron. So stay tuned for that one. It's coming soon. And thanks again to the supporters on Patreon for making productions like this possible. And thanks to the sponsors, we've got Aviation's greatest monthly contest. We're literally giving away thousands of dollars for the stuff each month. And I'm super stoked to be able to give this stuff away to you guys. Just visit flightchops.com for your chance to win. And an easy way that you can really help the channel is by pressing like on the videos. And keep your flight chop sharp. <laughs> Use that one. Use that line. I like it. I want a copy of that line. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. That's going to be the highlight of my weekend. Yeah, I I'm sorry. I, I should be more instructor than less clown shoe. <laughs> <laughs>